Good morning everybody, it is Monday 29th of August, it's about nine-ish in the morning and I'm having a cup of tea in the garden. If you're wondering why I'm not at work, it's because uh, the last Monday in August in the UK is what we call a bank holiday or a public holiday. So we don't have any work today and we've also got tomorrow off because it's an inset day at nursery, so there's no nursery. So another two days off, so I thought this week we'd do a weekly vlog. We haven't done one for a long time. It's been a bit weird around here for COVID and chest infections and generally very busy. We're getting ready to get Jennifer back to, uh, to go to school to go to reception, which is the very first year. Um, it's called reception. It's before they start seriously learning properly. It's uh, reception then year one. Um, but this is the year she wears a proper uniform and this is the year that she'll be in school from 20 to 9 to 10 past 3. So uh, I think next week uh, we'll be going in on the, 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 the on Tuesday for 10 minutes to meet the teacher. And then uh, Wednesday, is it staggered the first week? She goes in for a bit longer. Thursday, a bit longer. Friday, a bit longer, and so on. Uh, I think. Uh, and then the following Monday, which is the 12th, she goes from 20 to 9 to 10 past 3, which is lovely. She will be going to Brighter Minds, her nursery, for breakfast every morning at 8 o'clock anyway. Next week's a bit different, but normally she would go for breakfast. Um, so I will be dropping off just, well, I'll take her down on Mondays just before 8 because I work in the office most Mondays. So if I'm working in the office, I'll drop her and Paul off just before 8 and then I'll drive to the office. Um, the rest of the week I'll be dropping her down. I think I have two days in the office. And then uh, at uh, 10 past 3 I'll be picking her down, uh, depending on whether I might walk down and get her. We can go to the park, we can have a drink, we can, you know, we can have a nice walk back. Um, if it's not very nice, I'll take the car down, but yeah, so it's time for school. So anyway, I'm sitting outside. It's a lovely, beautiful August day, as you can see. The sky is beautifully blue. There's hardly a cloud up there. There's a few, a few wisps. I've got a book. I've got some colouring. I've got a cup of tea. I know it's not focusing, but hey. Focus, you bugger. It will eventually. And there's some washing on the line already. There is another load. Oh, that's focusing now. Um, in the machine. It's going to be a hot day, so even with it taking an hour and 20 minutes to do, I'll put it out. It'll still be dry by the evening. It's not a problem. It's just absolutely gorgeous. I thought I'd make the most of it before I go back to work on Wednesday. So I hope you'll enjoy this weekly vlog. Oh, here comes Paul. You right, Paul? And I'm just going to drink my tea. I can cook. Monday afternoon, we're in the park there, down by my mum and dad. Tea up. Tea up. Tea up, dinosaur. No, not really. Tea up, dinosaur. Let's go on something else. And she's off. And she's on there. You having a bounce, Jen? We're over at the cricket club now having a drink and <laughs> boys are having another pint. Jennifer's still on the bounce castle. Her friend Archie's here. I bust left puppy thing because I don't want any more coke. And if I get a crisp. Nice out here, isn't it, Dad? Because she ran up and told me. <laughs> she ran up and said, Guess what I saw? And she said, What? She said, Archie. I said, Oh, is he up here? He said, Yeah, he's over there. So it's Bank Holiday curry time, isn't it, Paul? Yeah. It's from the Bengal Cymru. Yeah, it was Papa Dom's first. So. <laughs> We're just waiting for Jennifer's McDonald's to come because she doesn't like cum cum curry. Oh, it's on Park Road now. So Paul's got his usual, which is a, what is it? Tandoori? Chicken. 
dinner thing tandoori special mixed whatever grill. it is mixed grill and I've got garlic chicken tikka masala it's flipping yummy and we've got a keema rice which we always have absolutely stunning food can't recognize, recommend the Bengal enough it's absolutely brilliant restaurant it's Monday evening and it is now time for bed so Jennifer's watching a bit of YouTube on my phone here she is oh Jen you're taking up all the space nobody can see come here that's it, good girl. My baby. My baby too, my <laughs> baby mummy. <laughs> I'm going to do a bit of reading while she's watching a bit of TV and then uh, we'll go to sleep and have a nice, another fun day tomorrow. What's that? We can what? We can go to Quinn's. Maybe. we got to see what, what Quinn's doing. I'll message her mum tomorrow, all right? Maybe it was two days. Yeah, it might be more than two days. It depends what they got planned. Oh. Okay, but I will ask her, all right? Yeah. She wants to go meet the dog Elvis. Because uh, he ain't nothing but a hand dog. That's you in the face. It's me, yeah. All right, get out of the line. Come on. Go and watch. Go and watch Ryan. Go on. Ah! Elbow in the boob. That is not nice. I'll see you in the morning. Good morning. It is uh, Tuesday, the 30th of August. And I'm sitting in the garden. It's lovely. It's not as hot as it was yesterday. Mm -hmm. And there's a nice breeze. I've got my Kindle. I've got a Coke. Well, Pepsi. I've got a bag of crisps. Colour looks markers, my phone. Everything I could possibly want to be out here for an hour or so. And I'm just going to chill out. It's lovely. So, yeah, back to normal tomorrow, but uh, that's okay. I've already done three pages and I'm going to do another one. Love it. Anyway, I'll be back in a bit. If Jennifer ever comes out. I said I'll probably come out as well. If she's not already, somewhere. But this is a nice day, so yeah, I thought I'd sit out here. So it's evening. I haven't done much today. We haven't really. Paul's mum came round. I've got one of those funny weighted hula hoops. Let me see if I can find a picture of them on here. Um, that's one. <sighs> I'm just going to show you one so you've got an idea of what it is. It's one of those. They're all over TikTok. It's very hard to use, and if you don't put it on right, it will catch. However, um, I have been using it. I've just got to make sure I, I catch it right. Because if I don't put the catches in right, although it holds, it doesn't spin. It's hard work. I did a little bit today and I can feel my stomach muscles working, but I didn't do it for very long. It takes a lot of practice, so I want to start tomorrow properly. Um, after work, I picked up Jen, been to see mum and dad, and we're going to go out in the garden with it. And have a go, just to see if I can get, get it attached right and in the motions and everything. It's really cool. They're really good fun, actually. It is fun. It's hard work, though. Um, done a bit of colouring. I haven't read, I'm going to read in bed in a bit. But back to work tomorrow, back to normal. Shame in it. So, short week, only three days, I can live. Anyway, I'll see you in a bit before bed. Um, I'm just tired. Good morning, everybody. It is Wednesday, 31st of August, payday. I just remembered in the car, taking Jennifer down to nursery. That's amazing. I love payday. Not the I'm going to spend any then. I still got my book tokens. I still got 70 odd quid worth of book tokens for Portstones. So why would I? I don't need to go. Yeah. I'm going to have a, a, a very cheap month on spending. Try and save a bit because cost of living is getting ridiculous. So, plan is to not buy many colouring books. I've got one on pre-order and obviously then from a colouring everyone when it gets here because there's post strikes at the moment so that's fine, don't mind that. And then um, the one I've got on pre-order, that's fine. Um, other than that, I might pick up the Relax With Art if I see it. As I said, I don't worry about too much about that one. And I'm going to try and uh, colour some of the books I haven't coloured in and make inroads on some of the books I have. So, yeah, so... I'm just going to set up for work. It's a bit warm in here. I've got the fan on. 
uh, full blast at the moment. I'm going to do my hula hoop later. I will show it to you. You won't see me doing it because it'll be embarrassing. But hey, I can't even do it properly yet. I need to practice. Oh, my God. About 10 or so spins yesterday, I could feel feel it working, so I can imagine if I can get it actually going, I'll be all right. Also joined a smart hula hoop group on Facebook, and they have challenges. Um, September's is trim to win, so to see how many centimetres or inches you can lose off your waist, basically. <laughs> Good luck. I've, I've measured everything and weighed myself, so I am going to start trying to... to it's more about fitness for me than anything else because it is very, very um, aerobic. So anyway, I'm going to crack on because I've got to get everything logged in, start work. I'll see you afterwards. I'm tired. Yeah. So it's evening and I know I haven't vlogged again. Hi fans! To be honest, I'm really not feeling in the mood. I'm feeling a bit down today. Did do a bit of hula hoop head. Still can't do it very well. It's practice. I'll get it and I'll never go tomorrow, won't we? On my hula hoop? Yes. My weighted hoop? Are you going to come I, out and watch? Can I try? Uh, no. When you're a bit older, you can have a go. When you're bigger. Don't Daddy knows you're in here, Jen. Anyway, I'm tired, so we're going to go to bed. I am going to start reading this, which I've had for a few years. And I've got around to reading it. So I'll see you tomorrow, hopefully. I'll be feeling a little bit more better tomorrow. <coughs> Excuse me. Hi guys, this is why we've stopped doing the weekly vlog. I just keep forgetting. It's Thursday night. Today I went to the office. Fine, lovely, no problem at all. Got home. Then found out that the nursery was having a party, so I had to take Jen that. It was their two year anniversary, their second birthday, so. I've done no hula hooping. We had fish and chips from the chip shop afterwards, which was nice. Jennifer's now playing um, with her Lego. It's not that late, I'm just feeling really tired. So I've got to do read. Paul's gonna watch football on his phone, so I'm just really tired. So that's why I've stopped doing it. I just keep forgetting to do it. However, I'm gonna try and remember to do it tomorrow and over the weekend, because we will be going out on, on Saturday and Sunday. So fingers crossed, Saturday we'll be going up town. There's a book I want to get, which I could get from Wallstones with my vouchers, and I also want to get um, a notebook for Jennifer to practice her numbers and letters in. I said we, she could pick a nice notebook and we'd... she could use that. I am absolutely shattered, so I'm actually just going to sit and read um, a bit of Lorna Luft's book for a while, and then tomorrow, all the weekend, I'm going to get some books down off my shelf and put them in my cart and I've also got to do some filming over the next couple of days there as well. I've got four to film so I've got my hauls, two hauls, complete pages and my reading wrap up. There's a bit of baby bell skin on there for some reason, Jennifer. I feel absolutely shattered today but I'm okay. Anyway, I'm going to do that now and I'll talk to you in the morning. Good morning. It is um, Friday the 2nd of September. I'm just setting up for work here in my little bedroom office. I do need to tidy up a bit. You can see all my Marilyn books behind me here. <sighs> Tired. Glad it's Friday. Um, so, newsreader Bill Turnbull has passed away at the age of 66. He did have uh, prostate cancer. Very sad. He was a lovely man. Never met him, but he came across as very professional, very nice, kind, caring. So, very sad, but um, unfortunately it happened. Poor man, he was so young. 66 is no age at all. Anyway, today's plan is to do this. My dad will pick Jennifer up and then we'll meet at Lidl's and he'll get some shopping off, pick up a few bits and pieces. And then I'll go back to... Mum's either pop in for a cup of tea or just drop him off and come home. When I do get home, I'm going to do my hula hoop because I didn't get to do it yesterday because I had to take Jennifer to a party because uh, her nursery is two years old. It was their birthday yesterday. And then I'm going to have a shower. I'm going to have some dinner, but we'll have a shower and read, carry on reading um, Lorna Luff's book. Uh, it's taking me longer than I thought it would. I am enjoying it though, so I might uh, try and read that a bit this afternoon as well. Anyway. 
better get to work. Okay, so work is over and i um, been shopping with Dad. Bought some beers with Paul. I feel a bit oh, kind of clammy, I know. Uh, it's because I've been doing a bit of hooping out the back. I only did five minutes because I can't keep the ball going constantly. Um, and it's so hot out there, I can't stand the heat. So I've worked, I can feel it. I'm sweating, so it's good. I've done a bit, you know, I'm overweight and I'm unfit, so I'm going to sweat. But I'll do some more tomorrow. I've made a bit of an 80s music play with, playlist. We've got um, Holiday by Madonna on there and Material Girl, because I love that song. And we've got Gloria by... Laura Brannigan, um, The Weather Girls, It's Raining Men, Requiem by The London Boys, or no, I think Requiem's on there, but definitely at London Nights. Yeah, got a good few 80s tunes mostly, in fact it's all 80s tunes. And tomorrow I'll take out our outside speaker and see how it goes. It might help, might help me keep the rhythm with a bit of music on. So I've come to put some change in my savings pot. I save well, ones, twos, fives, tens, twenties, fifties, and two pound coins. That goes without saying. I keep my pound coins in case I need them for well, if I go to a car boot sale. And I also put five pounds in my savings pot every week as well. And if I've got pound coins, I use pound coins. So they'll go in my pounds pot. That's although they are not class of savings. They are there for they are to be used if we go, like I said, to a car boot sale or somewhere like that. But generally, they just sit there and then they get added to the pot. I got one £2 coin. I did get a new one of these. So that's this that one. And this is a brand new identical one that hasn't been used. This is ready for next year. So if I just stick them on top of each other, the newest one is on top. You can see how much the bottom one has expanded over the, the uh, last year with all the bits I've put in it. And the, the, it is very good. It expands very well. So I like the way this book looks, so I've got some gold numbers somewhere. At the end of the year I will put 2020 through, 2022 on that one, 2023 on this one, and I'm going to start setting this up because it's going to take me a while because I'm going to change it. And I will might do a video of um, how I set it up um, nearer you know, the time, but I'm not sure. And I've got a, a bit of shrapnel to go in my pot, which is always nice. I am then going to grab a handful of LPs from my LP pile and take them downstairs to put them with our records. I'm slowly taking down one of our records to put with my our turntable. I say it's a turntable because it's not a record player and there's a difference between a record player and turntable. Then if I get a chance I'm going to come up and I'm going to film my colouring book and supplies haul. Maybe my complete pages. Maybe I won't. Maybe I'll do that later. I might go and have a Something to eat, I'm a bit peckish. Anyway, I'll see you in a little bit when I've decided what I'm going to do. So I've just filmed my colouring book haul for the month. I've got quite a lot of books here. This is what I'm looking forward to colouring in very, very soon. Uh, I'm going to put these away and get my next set of books. Um... I think I won't. I think I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do my complete pages tomorrow, I think, because I'm feeling a bit tired and I just want to read for a bit and do some other bits and pieces. So, yeah, that's enough for today. Uh, tomorrow I'll do my completed pages. I'll go and put these back and put them away, put all the completed pages together and get that sorted. Uh, I've got so much to film. I've got the completed pages to do, but that's going to be quite long. I've got book haul to do. And I've got my completed book. So I'm trying to film one, approximately one every day. So that's today. Uh, so that means it'll take me till Monday. And this one I can go and get ready and put up tomorrow. So I'll go and do that now. So, yeah. I love my colouring books. <laughs> See what else we can do soon. Okay, so I'm in bed with Jen now. She's watching a bit of telly. Say hello. Hi, fans. Don't do that. Don't shake the camera. They can't see your pretty face. Mm. Gorgeous, isn't it, anyway? Anyway, I've been colouring. And I'm watching Wendy. She's watching Ryan. And I'm recolouring in Tales from the Witch College. But I'm going to read my book now for a bit. And then snuggle down and go to sleep because we're going up the tower tomorrow, aren't we, Jen? 
Yeah, and we can buy notebooks and toys. Well, mostly notebook and a toy, maybe, and a book for mummy. Yes, okay. I'm going to go now, all right? Yeah. All right. We can buy two things, or three things, or four things, or five things. Yes, yes. Jennifer can count, can't you, dear? Yeah, I really want five things. We're not having five things. Anyway, I'll see you in the morning, peeps. Um, it is Saturday morning, and we're going up tower, aren't we? What does Daddy look? Handsome. Oh! <laughs> and stylish. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, so we're going to go up to Newport to... Uh... Oh, and she's sweet! <laughs> and then we're going to go see Nanny Sally, aren't we? He's coughing you. He's coughing you. Ah! He's coughing me. <laughs> I have absolutely no Copy idea you. what she's on about. Copy you. But let's go to Newport. It's Sunday afternoon, we've done our shopping, Jennifer's been to football, she's watching gorgeous movies now on the phone and we're sitting at the pub having a pint with, with my dad, Jen's dad, me obviously, I mean, you know what I look like, pet cider and black currant, Jen's got a cola, where are you off to? Was he where Richard is? There he is. Oh, Hang on, he's got a drink glasses. in his hand. Wait. In his hand. She loves Richard. It's terrible. Jennifer. And, uh, Leave the poor man alone. Oh, man. Wouldn't surprise me. Don't you follow the kid? Like it is following me around the place. Come on, Jennifer. Come on. <laughs> Good girl. Nice Sunday afternoon. Frightening. I said nobody knows about it. I said it's been dead for over six months. <laughs> Fine. I said, no, what you, you don't know. I know what did you say. All of it. <laughs> I mean, it must have been like 10 cases, I suppose. I said, I'll have the cognac. It's a pretty old man. That's what I had. I'll have two bottles of that. Don't worry about that. We're down there now. We're there. I never kept the bottle for myself, to be funny. Yet. No. Hi, Dad, the Dell boy. Back in the day. Look, nobody's dead. What'll I do when he's no longer here? I'm not dead, I'm still here. Look at me, I'm just kidding. I don't think I could manage without him. He was in hospital. I love him so much. Not me. You met me, but when he was a baby, you come to visit Granddad in hospital. Because I was ill. I wasn't very really well. And mummy was in the hospital. Mummy brought you into the hospital. And we sat on the bed and had a good cuddle. Because we loved your granddad then. And uh, one of the times you come in, one of the nasty girls said, You can't put that baby on the bed. They say that. Yeah. What else? Staff nurses. What else? Okay guys, it's Sunday evening and Jennifer is actually asleep in her bed so I'm talking quietly. I am going to read for a bit. I'm now reading Joyland by Stephen King. I'll let you know how it goes tomorrow when I start the next weekly vlog.